Hello everyone, this is Adit back again with another video. So in this video, we are going to learn how to do native Android Briz with React Native. So let's get started. And before we start, if you are new here, consider subscribing and hit the like button if uh, this video is helpful for you. So let's get started now. So first thing first, uh, over here, I have just created one uh, React Native application. It's just an uh, empty application with some boilerplate code. So we don't need any of this. Uh, I'm just going to delete this. And uh, then we are going to write uh, just a small uh, app, which is just going to display a toast. But uh, we are going to learn how to uh, to trigger the toast from the native side from the android side so this will give you a good context on how to do the bridge between the in the android side yeah so first of all i just wanted to add uh, one one button over here just an ui so that uh, we can use that ui for displaying the triggering the toast so over here we don't need all this boilerplate codes i'm just going to have a style start container as of now we haven't defined the container and uh, i'm pretty sure if you are here then uh, i think that you are already aware of how to do all these things in react native uh, yeah so we're just going to have a container over here this is going to be a flex one justify content center and align item center as well so this is just going to put uh, whatever we have on the screen at the center of the screen uh, and uh, over here we're just going to have uh, one button and then a view let's have a text and uh, click here to display toast just have one style for this one as well style start ptn and uh, let's uh, have ptn as uh, padding tan and uh, background color and yeah so this will display one button over here just a click here to display the toast button now uh, we are going to do all the things in the android side so let's just open our Android Studio first. And over here, uh, all we need to do is just open this Android directory into the Android Studio. And uh, once we do that, over here, I have already opened it in Android Studio. Now, we need to do some configurations over here and then we will have to use it. So, yeah, over here, we have this, uh, our, our project. And uh, over here, we need to do some configuration uh, before we run the co run Kotlin in our application. So to do that, at the app level uh, Gradle, mm, this is the app level Gradle and uh, this is the project level Gradle. So first of all, let's just open the project level Gradle and uh, we are just going to add Kotlin version. And uh, we are going to stick with the one point uh, 6.0 you can choose any of the latest version this will work completely fine since uh, we are just using a small part of the application so this won't matter that much over here and uh, we also need to add this dependency let me just copy this so this one I'll put this code in the description below as well so that you can just copy it and paste it here or you can just pause and uh, just get it from here. And then we'll go to the app level Gradle and over here we need to add uh, one plugin. This is apply plugin and uh, that plugin is Kotlin Android. And uh, we need to add one uh, dependency over here as well. Inside the dependency, we need to add this. I'm just going to copy this code as well. Okay. 
Now, all we need to do is uh, just sync our Gradle. And this would not show any error. If this is going to show any error, then we need to check that. Cool. I don't, uh, okay, it is still, yeah. So our uh, Gradle sync is complete. And inside the Java, we have our main activity and main application. So this is where we are just going to register our package. And uh, yeah, all we need to do to register our package, all we need to do is just packages.add and uh, whatever packages we have created. So let's just create a one module and I'm just going to call uh, my module. We'll just have uh, my module. Okay. And uh, this is going to, um, let's create a my module and uh, toast service as well at the same time. We'll just create uh, toast service. First of all, let's just work on the toast service part and uh, then we'll go to the, we are going to list our toast services in my module and then we'll register that pack, my module package to main application. So this is how it is going to work. And uh, we're going to create one variable. React context and uh, this is going to be type of React application context. And then it is going to extend to React context base Java module. And it, it also expects React context. But, so now uh, if you just go over here it uh, needs uh, to implement one function and implement member and that is the gate name so just uh, click ok and uh, over here you need to define the name of your model uh, through which you get, uh, you are going to access this model in your react native application so let's just call uh, um, toast module and then over here let me just remove this to do and uh, over here we are also going to create one uh, method and whichever method that you are going to expose to react native you need to add this react method annotation over here and uh, then just create going to create a so toast and this is going to expect one message which is a type of string and then we're just going to have toast toast dot make text and uh, for the context we are just going to pass the react context and message and uh, then toast dot length sort and similarly we are just going to have toast uh, we are going to define the position of the toast so to do that we're just going to have set gravity gravity dot center and zero x offset and y offset at zero and then all we need to do is just uh, those dot so cool so now mm, this part is done and uh, this is the, our toast function uh, we can we could have implemented something else as well but uh, as of now i have limited lot knowledge of kotlin so that's why i'm just going to stick with the toast uh, but I think it will give you a better. Uh, it will give you a context on how to do the bridge part, and if you have some other co uh, some other functionality that you want to implement in the React Native side, and uh, that you can just do in a similar way, right? And uh, in my module, this is going to extend to React package. We're just going to add functions. And if you just go over here and uh, see implement, uh, implement members, you need to implement these two functions. But uh, sometimes I get confused about these uh, functions. So that's why I'm just going to create it on my own. And uh, yeah, just have override create native modules. And uh, instead of uh, calling it P0, I'm going to call it React context. And uh, since we are going to pass the React context only in this one, and uh, then we'll pass the React context to the toast service as well. And uh, this is going to be a list. List and uh, let's just 
for modules and array list native module. We, um, this array list is going to uh, contain native module. This one. And uh, then we're just going to add uh, whatever we are going to pass over here. So in this module, uh, this add a list, we are just going to add uh, our toast service, toast service, and uh, this expects a React context. So we're just going to pass the React context as well, and then modules, and uh, and the second function that we need to put it over here is uh, this create view manager, yeah. And for this one as well, I'm just going to stick with uh, calling it React Context since this is what it is. And uh, again, we're just going to have the list and the view manager. And it could be anything. I'm just uh, it could be anything. So I'm and then we're just going to return the collection dot empty list view manager should be collections and we need to import it and uh, that's the reason it was showing red now uh, all we need to do is just uh, add this pa uh, my module package to my main application and to do the do that we're just going to have package dot add and new my module yeah that's all we need to do on the react uh, um, sorry on the android side to trigger an, a toast and then we need to uh, import this uh, in the react native side as well so to do that mm, let's go over here and i think uh, I, we need to restart our metro bundler as well i have too many tabs over here yeah cool so let's just uh, restart the metro bundler so that we can check uh, if there is any error or anything. So yeah, our app is top, app is uh, running completely fine, and I don't think there is any errors. We just go to Metro Bundler, Bundler. There is no error. So now uh, we are going to import that method that we def we have defined in the React Native side, sorry, Android side, and uh, our module. Uh, it is called Toast module so let's just import it over here so first of all let me just open my imports there are a lot of unnecessary imports unused imports so i'm just going to remove those and then we are going to import uh, native modules from react native and then we're just going to have toast service and native module and this is going to have toast module i think i think that's what we named it over here toast module we just copy paste and put it over here so now in our button we are going to to on press and we're just going to have toast sorry service dot so toast and uh, we are going to display like your toast is good so now if we just open our application and we just click over here here we are triggering this uh, we are getting this toast from the from our native side and uh, we can just uh, pass our whatever message that we have passed like your toast is here 
we are we are apt to trigger it so this is how you can do native bliss with uh, kotlin and react native so yeah i hope you learned something from this video and uh, if you like the video consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching